Hello everyone, I'm Iria. I'm an art therapist and I work at the Sylvester Arts and Medicine program. You might have seen me around doing different creative art projects to increase relaxation and decrease stress. And today we're going to be doing a fun exercise in weaving using textiles with some very simple supplies that you might already have at home. So let's get started! Here are the supplies needed to make your loom. Get a piece of cardboard, any size that you want. I cut out a strong piece from a used box I had at home. You will also need a ruler, scissors, marker, and some yarn. Use the ruler to mark off across the top and bottom of your loom. Your top marks and bottom marks should align. Next, cut out each of your marks on both sides. All right, you've got yourself a great loom. To warp the loom, I simply tie my yarn in a knot and put the knot at the back of the first tab on top. Once your knot is secure, then warp across the front of the loom. Bring the warp around the tab in the back of the loom and then back across the front. Keep warping until the end and tie your warp thread in a single knot at the back of the loom. Now you can start weaving. Begin by tying a knot on the warp then weave the yarn by alternating up and down as you go along. I find the rhythm of the weaving and the tactile experience of the yarn is a grounding exercise in mindfulness. The satisfaction of completing a project and making my own looms out of cardboard can be therapeutic. If you run out of yarn along the way, you can simply tie a second piece to add, mix, or match colors. When you're satisfied with the size of your weave, you can finish your project by tying the end of the yarn to the warp. The final product might look imperfect, but it's all about the soothing process here. The final step is to release the warp from the loom, then cut the pieces of yarn to tie them together. Feel free to cut your tassels or organize them. When you're finished, you can use this piece as an oven mitt, a coffee cup coaster, or as a small comfort object. You name it, 